Welcome back, another episode. Reach your second episode of Season 2 addresses an inevitable Tom Cruise controversy. When word leaked out that Tom Cruise would be starring as Jack Reacher in a film, fans of Lee Child's books revolted. Few people probably saw Cruise in the role of Reacher, hulking behemoth akin to Dolph Lundgren in the novels. In any case, the actor's Jack Reacher film duology served to further popularize the character and draw in new fans of the novels. After the lackluster reception to Cruise's second movie, the decision was made to revive the franchise with a television series. In popular culture, Alan Richson has taken Cruise's place as Reacher since he is a more suitable actor for the part. The showrunners behind Amazon's Reacher have a plenty of material to select from when it comes to future adaptation, as the book series currently has close to 30 volumes. You can stop worrying if Reacher will remake One Shot, the movie that served as the inspiration for Tom Cruise's Jack Reacher. Given that the events of season one occurred about three years ago, it becomes sense that the lead character experienced some misfortunes during that period. In What Happens in Atlantic City, Episode 2, Reacher discloses that he met James Barr in Indiana last year and that he owes me now. For background, in One Shot, Barr was a former military sniper who was set up for murder. Reacher's inquiry into his purported murders initiates the plot. If Richson's Reacher were to be adapted into a new one-shot, it would be interesting to see how things would turn out. Jack Reacher, which debuted in 2012 and has since garnered critical acclaim as a strong action thriller, marked Cruz's first collaboration with frequent director Christopher McQuarrie. Although it's a fun ride, some people find it difficult to accept Cruz in the part. In any case, it would be prudent for Amazon's Reacher to forego implementing one-shot because there is no way to win. Regardless of how Jack Reacher detractors may feel, director Martin McQuarrie's picture is an excellent adaptation of author Tracy Child's book, therefore a new one is not desperately needed. In addition, the showrunners have access to a multitude of other novels, such as Die Trying, one of Richson's favorite Reacher stories. If the show were to read up one shot, it would seem as like it was purposefully setting Richson's version against Cruz's and causing needless tension between the movie and television series. Given that the show has established that one shot took place in the Reacher universe, the next issue to be answered is, did Never Go Back also happen? This question is left unanswered in the first three episodes of season two, and considering the path the plot is taking, it's unlikely to be answered. That being said, it makes sense that Never Go Back is also off limits if the showrunners decided to cross one shot off of their to-do list. This is a little disheartening because the Jack Reacher movie that Never Go Back was a letdown. The plot involving Reacher's purported teenage daughter is the kind of subplot best left for a third or fourth movie, not the second, and the sequel's action and supporting cast were unremarkable. Although it was too early in the film series to address this kind of narrative, Reacher by Amazon could have done it right. It's unlikely that Never Go Back for Reacher will be approached by a fearless producer in the near future, but it's still possible. For more, subscribe.